Andrea Roussel works at one of the toughest prisons in the country. The Toronto jail, commonly known as the Don Jail or the Don. People from minimum risk to high risk. Uh, we have terrorists that were here. We have all kinds of people. Not an easy feat for anyone, let alone a woman who used to be a man. I knew I was going to get opposition. I knew I was going to get verbally assaulted. Andrea says her emotional journey began a long time ago. Andre Roussel grew up in Sudbury, a little boy who from an early age felt different. I knew that I wanted to be with my sister's friends. I wanted to do the skipping. I wanted to do the hopscotch. As a teen, Andre played football and was on the wrestling team. And all along those years, I'm fighting my urges to want to be dressing like a woman, doing things like girls. He later fell in love with a woman and had two children. But years later, Andre fell into a depression and tried to commit suicide twice. I was tired of holding a secret. I wanted to live. That's why I wasn't successful in my suicides. Andre and his wife parted ways, and in 2005, he approached his employer explaining he planned to have a sex change. They supported him. It was a gradual process. Showing up for work in makeup, high heels and a skirt made for a difficult time for Andrea, especially among prisoners. They would take out every opportunity uh, to verbally assault me. Still, Andrea and her employers continued to educate and build a more tolerant workplace. I think it's uh, probably one of the most courageous things I've ever experienced in my career or with, um, with people in general. It's a huge step. Workplace experts say while times are changing, not all employers have policies in place to support transgendered people. But it's something they believe businesses need to be more aware of. And that supporting employees uh, through a variety of different areas of diversity is, is really good for the business and actually drives the bottom line. Andrea is now a sergeant and says without support, she wouldn't be here today. All throughout my transition, I've been told I'm a trailblazer. I'm here to change the culture. Jennifer Palasok, Global News.